The story of Cornhill Scotland began not here in Scotland, but actually in London. It uh, arose out of the ministry of Dick Lucas, who was the rector of St. Helens Bishopsgate. And in the late 1980s, it became clear that there was a real need for training for future Bible teachers and ministers. Training that went right back to the Bible, and training which was rooted in the local churches, not in the distant academy. And so it was that uh, in conjunction with David Jackman, the Cornhill training course began in 1990 in a disused church in Cornhill in the city of London. Since then, Cornhill has trained literally hundreds of young people from Britain and from many other countries in the world, each of them equipped with a sense of clarity about the message of Scripture, a confidence in the power of the Word of God, and we trust a competence in opening that Word and breaking open the bread of life to God's people. I had the great privilege of uh, working in London with Dick Lucas and David Jackman as Director of Ministry for the Proclamation Trust. During my five years there, I had great experience of the Cornhill Training Course. And so when I returned to Scotland in 2004 to become minister here at St George's Tron Church, it was my great desire that we could see a similar pattern of training for biblical ministry and for preaching established here at the heart of Scotland. It was a great answer to prayer then when the Lord sent us Edward Lobb, a man with over 25 years of parish experience and someone who'd been involved with the preaching conferences at the Proclamation Trust from the very earliest days. And he came with his family and began the Cornhill training course in Scotland as our first director. Our Scottish Cornhill training course, which is now in its third year of operation, is designed to help students to be preachers and teachers of the Bible. And uh, to give you an idea of the main ingredients of the course, we study various books of the Bible in some depth, particularly some of the biggest and most important books, uh, Genesis and Exodus and Isaiah, the Gospels, um, the Epistle to the Romans. We also do quite a bit on how to teach and preach the different genres of the Bible. How do, you, how do you tackle, for example, Old Testament law, Old Testament narrative? How do you preach the Gospels or the Epistles or uh, apocalyptic literature? Uh, because each of these needs to be taken in, in quite a different way. We also give considerable uh, time to instruction on how you actually prepare sermons. So the mechanics of how you get on with the business of putting your sermons together is important to us. Now the kind of people who come to us for the course come from many different backgrounds and ages. Uh, some of our students are straight out of university in their early 20s. Others uh, are in their 40s or 50s. I guess the average age range would be in the late 20s to early 30s. Some of the people who come to us are already ordained ministers in, in various churches but haven't received specific instruction or very little instruction in actually preaching and handling the Bible. One of the things that we, uh, we regard as an important part of the course is to place our students in a local church where they are given the opportunity to, um, to practice some of the skills in Bible preaching and teaching that we're hoping to teach them on the course. So the course is very practical, very much hands-on, and uh, one of the important ingredients in the course itself is the giving of practice sermons, uh, either full sermons or, or, or shorter talks as well. I'm excited about Corn Hill. I'm excited at the chance it gives people to engage with the Bible in depth, to study it, to learn to love it and to teach it, but more than that, to learn how to present Christ through it, to help to build up the church and to help to convert the world. My own background is both in academic theology and in pastoring a church, and in Cornhill we try to bring these two together. We want to produce articulate and committed people who can teach and preach the faith with conviction and with clarity. We also want to produce people who love the Lord, who love his word and who love people. And we see it as their task to bring Christ to people and people to Christ. That's what Cornhill is about. My name's Terry McCutcheon. I used to work as an addiction worker in Glasgow City Centre and I'm currently a church apprentice with a city centre church. The training I received in the Cornhill training course has, has really helped me to get to grips with the Bible text, which has been really helpful as I work with many different people with complex issues and social needs in the city centre. I also do some pulpit supply, um, and the training I received in the Cornhill training course has really given me the confidence to be able to do this. Cornhill Scotland helped me to communicate the gospel clearly uh, to people in a way, way in which they can understand and respond to. 
I work as part of a team in Glasgow City Centre seeking to share Christ with overseas workers and students. Many have never read a Bible, many have never heard his name, and the Cornhill course gave us the skills we need to explain the Gospel in a clear and simple fashion and to allow people to come to a decision about Jesus Christ. My name is Caroline and I did the Cornhill training course straight out of university as part of an apprenticeship with a church in Glasgow. I've been involved in student and youth ministry and so the course has given me the foundations to teach the Bible in one-to-one -one contexts as well as small groups and giving the occasional talk. I'm going on next year to work in full-time student ministry in the universities and the training course has helped me to um, have the confidence to train student leaders in having confidence in God's Word and using it as their fuel for mission. Hi, I'm Mark. I work at Abernethy Outdoor Centre and I'm able to do the Cornhill course two days a week. So that allows me the freedom to be able to continue my ministry at the centre while I'm doing that. So it's a great privilege to be on the course. Hi, I'm Richard Henry. Um, I worked in business for about 20 years before doing the Cornhill training course full-time last year and having been somebody who hadn't really done any preaching before I found the uh, preaching instruction classes and the actual practical preaching classes very helpful and it was great to get uh, honest feedback about them. I now work in my home church um, two days a week and then I'm still working in business the other few days. Paul says, how are they to believe in him whom they have not heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? And how are they to preach unless they are sent? And that's why Paul says to Timothy in 2 Timothy 2 verse 2, what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Because we believe in the power of God for salvation, we're committed to that task of passing on the message to faithful ones who will be able and be enabled to teach others also. That's our task in Cornhill, Scotland. We'd love to ask you to partner with us, to send to us students to be trained to pass on that message, to pray for us and our efforts here in Scotland, and perhaps to support us also financially so that the need of God's people for his church it can be met through the generosity uh, also of his people. Thank you for listening to this short film about Cornhill, Scotland, and we covet your prayers and your support.